In the last year or so, a prominent figure has emerged into the Luke's maxing niche. Gawadis. Full of cope and anti-scientific opinions, he has grown in the eyes of the greys and tiktoxels, with a new niche primal slash natural Luke's maxing growing from him. With his outrageous claims like, you would have been a tall chad if you'd have just ate raw meat, and being circle jerked by his cult-like followers, it is now believed that this statement to be true. Today, I will prove why raw meat is cope and in most cases anti-scientific and utter nonsense for Luke's maxing. Let's go on with a point that many raw meat copers say, raw meat will make you grow bones bro. This is a common point that 99% of raw meat enthusiasts say, but it can be easily disproven with this study. It shows that your development of your skull slash bone mass is already finished before you're 15, for the most part. This means even if raw meat could increase bone mass, it would be useless unless you're less than 15. This is because once your skull bones fuse, it's impossible to grow them. Now, even if you have raw meat through puberty, it's not a guarantee of bones as they are mainly affected by genes, 90 to 95 percent, which is why these people who ate raw meat their whole life are boneless and recessed, which should be impossible by Gowadis' logic. Sunscreen won't age you, bro. It's just your diet, bro. This is a comedic cope that some retarded primal diet Luke's maxers are promoting. And it's just entirely anti-science. Well, to start off, the sun is harmful because it produces harmful UV rays, which can't be blocked effectively unless you use sunscreen. These UV rays have been proven to rapidly age the skin. This is a picture of two twins, one wore sunscreen, one didn't can you guess which is which? Then a usual response from a primal diet copers is that removing linoleic acid seed oils, would stop the sun damage. The only thing which studies prove is that removing seed oils can reduce the chances of burning. However, you can still get sun damage even if you don't burn. Another cope some primal people make is that, you don't understand the biology of it bro, however, there is little to no evidence to show this would be the case using biochemistry. Even if it was, which it isn't but I'm being theoretical here just in case a random Gowadis glazer says it is whilst not citing a study. The evidence of this theory gets brutally mogged by the overwhelming number of meta-analysis studies proving that the sun ages you. Now if you're still not convinced that the sun will age here are some pics from anti-seed oil and pro-meat advocates. Strict diet for many decades just to have older looking skin than a 90-year-old monk who hasn't gotten any sun in his life. Another retarded take from these primal copers is that eating this way will somehow cure hair loss. The theory goes that if you are nutrient deficient, then you will lose hair, which is true. And if you are nutrient sufficient, then you'll keep your hair. Though this theory does hold some truth, it has many holes. First of all, most people get sufficient nutrition to counter the hair loss from nutrient deficiency. And if they didn't, it would be an easy fix of adding a couple eggs to their diet to fix it, and they wouldn't need to go full primal to. Another thing that primal diet enthusiasts forget to add is DHT effects on hair. Every man will suffer from some kind of androgenic alopecia. The amount of hair loss experienced from this is mostly due to genetics. The main hormone that affects this is DHT. This phase is the main cause of male pattern baldness. Raw primal doesn't decrease DHT so they won't be able to fix this. Also this would contradict the point that raw primal diet improves hormones. This is because if it was true then it would increase DHT which would make hair loss worse. So raw meat enthusiasts have to choose whether raw primal increases hormones and worsens hair loss or has no effect on hormones and improves hair loss. Or neither LOL. In before, DHT affecting hair loss isn't real and made up by the elites because Gowadi said so. Cholesterol is a substance that has many important roles in the body. This is generally accepted, but where the primal diet copers differ on is that they think high levels of cholesterol is actually beneficial. Like a lot of their claims, it has zero scientific backing. I think their main argument is that it increases testosterone and the negatives are a myth and blame seed oils or something. Again, this is not backed up by any real science and the opposition, anti-high cholesterol side, has countless meta-studies proving their point. This is probably one of the worst theories the raw meat community has and can have quite serious consequences. With many studies proving it can cause early mortality. I want to re-emphasize that cholesterol in itself isn't bad and has many benefits but it's just high levels of it that is dangerous. In my opinion, the worst take of all the diet copers is that gym is cope. This is just pure retardation. I'll keep this section short as it's mostly water for any sane person. 
But for the Gawadis Glazers, there are 100s of studies proving women prefer a muscular physique and dislike skinny ones. Just look at these transformations and decide for yourself if you'd rather be a skinny primal cuck or a roided unnatural chad. To end, I want to leave you with some of the raw primal transformations, and you can decide if it's really worth it.